Hello friends, today we are doing a reading vlog slash reading challenge slash fun thing <laughs> that I've always wanted to do, which is scavenge Jahan picks what I read. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, I've always wanted to do this. I think Kayla from Books and Lala created this. I've seen her do it a lot, but I've seen a lot of people do it, where I think Kayla created this list of like scavenger hunt prompts that take you from one book to another, and at the end is gonna pick a book for us to read, and I'm nervous because I have no idea what it's gonna pick, obviously, that's the whole nature of the video, but I've always been so jealous when I've seen people doing this, and they're like, oh, it's so fun, what a fun way to pick books. <laughs> Uh, I'm apprehensive, nervous, bit scared, also weirdly calm, perhaps on the verge of hysteria. That's what we're going to be doing. Shall we just get straight into it? I'm very excited. And you know me, I like putting my reading fate in everything else's hands but mine. <laughs> The first prompt is, I haven't looked at these pre and advance, but obviously I've seen them before. Grab your favorite book, go to the acknowledgements, and the first name you see, find a book by an author with the same name. Okay, for favorite book, I'm gonna go with Strange Case, The Alchemist's Daughter, my favorite series. Is the first one my favorite book in a series? I don't know, but like, I just love this series. Okay, acknowledgements. God, I feel so nervous, guys. Should we like just, do you wanna go on a date? Should we not do this? <laughs> That would still be nerve wracking. Tell you what they told Okay, me. I'm feeling weird right now. I'm feeling like so weird. Oh, acknowledgements, acknowledgements. Julia, 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 Julia. I know Julia. Let me show you. I should give you the the. I at first I thought the first name was Pruitt, and I was like, Pruitt. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see that. Julia Pruitt Brown. I saw that before John, I saw Pruitt first, I was like, oh. and then it turns out her first name's Julia. So I know a Julia that I know and love. The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz, I love it. We all know that, if you don't, you're wrong. What's the next one? <laughs> Pick something on the cover and find another book with that thing in the title. Trees, trees, and the trees crept in. There's trees on the cover. I could go with snow, but I can't think of a book that has snow in the title. So we'll go with trees and we'll go with and the trees crept in, which I have somewhere. What? I could have sworn that book was there. Where the fuck is and the trees crept in? <laughs> I'm getting to a point now where I have too many unread books on my TBR and I don't know where anything is. Oh, there it is. A book that I really need to read. It's one of the books I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm gonna love the most and I haven't read. It's one of those ones that's like a five star that lasts on your TBR for like three years. Go to page 50, line five, pick a word from that line and find a title with that word. Okay. <sighs> page 50, line five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so the, the line is, you ruined the game, Minori sighs, then stomps away from. So game? Game? Do I have something? Oh, I have The Murder Game, which I didn't like, so it's hidden away. <laughs> the Murder Game by Tom Hindle, sadly a, uh, a one star for me this year. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> sorry, Tom Hindle. Um, I'm sorry to this man. Find a five star read with the same colors on the cover. Okay, so we've got blues and greens. Doesn't have to have gold. I feel like gold's quite difficult. So anything that's like these blues and greens. Um, a five star, oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. How similar do we think those are? Mm, they're blue and gold, and it's got the same like gold border. I'm gonna go with that. I think that's close enough. It's blue, even though this is more of like a bluey green, but it's got the same gold border, which I thought would be too difficult. So actually I'm gonna go with that. I feel like that's fair. Mysterious Case of Angels, one of my five, one of my few <laughs> five stars from this year. I've turned bitter and spiteful. I don't even like myself. I love her. If you want mixed media, this is a great one to go with. And I think it's a kind of Janice had it that I could most widely recommend. I feel like everyone would have a good time with this. Find a book with the same number of pages. Hint, Goodreads is your friend. <gasps> okay, this has 413. Let me go get my laptop and screen record. Yes, I know you can do this on your phone, but I just prefer how it's laid out on the laptop. Am I like, is that very... Millennial of, I mean, I'm not a millennial, I'm a, I'm a Gen Z, aren't I? I don't know. Okay, my books, we can just sort all of my books. Um, am I recording? Yes, I am. <laughs> Settings, number of pages, and then we gotta sort it, and then go to like, where's, where's, what was it, 413? Yeah, okay, 460. There's a lot around this four, okay, hang on, hang on. We, we went too far. <laughs> okay. 
16, 16, 16, 15, 13. The bullet that missed, the only one that has the same amount of pages. The bullet that missed by Richard Osmond. God, we're having a good pool of books here, apart from the murder game. We only talk about that. But all the books that I either really want to read or five stars again. I mean, it's there's a murder club. <laughs> Okay, what was the next one for this? Flip over Jenny Page. First name you see, find a book by an author who shares a name. Fuck, it's all old people names. It's like Joyce and Elizabeth. I don't think I have any... Oh. Right. Andrew. I don't think I have an Andrew. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't have a book by an Andrew. No. Okay, let's try again. I saw Catherine next. I saw, they were talking about Catherine Howard. <laughs> Do I have anything by a Catherine? I have Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas, but that's not right. Okay, we've got to try again. This is going to be... <laughs> this is not the book you want for this, because it's going to be Joyce. Uh, Donna. I don't have a Donna. I know I don't have anything by a Donna. <laughs> next page. Stephen. I don't think I have anything by a Stephen. Is there a single name in the Thursday Medical Club that I'd have an author? <laughs> Oh wait, I have Stephen King, but do I own any Stephen Kings? I don't own any. Oh wait, no, Stephen Graham Jones I own. Only Good Indians. Okay, 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 we can do this. Everyone calm down. All right, next book, The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Oh, what is the next prompt? Find another title with the same number of letters. Fuck you, Kayla. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 letters in the title. 18 letters. Are you tough enough for the job? Mm, no. I feel like 18 is a difficult middle. This will be too much. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that's like twenty-four. Man who died. Tw One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, oh! it's like a difficult middle of the road length. Song of Achilles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> Song of Achilles is 17. Okay, get a life, Chloe Brown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18! <gasps> get a life, Chloe Brown. Oh, my note's falling out of it. <laughs> we did it! Okay, I'm so proud of us. Well, we're doing really well. Find a book with a similar cover. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat and go take a hint, Danny Brown. <laughs> How many people were scared? Okay. Me too. I was really, really scared. <laughs> it's raining, but it's raining books. Hallelujah, it's raining books. <laughs> I'm cheating, but like, it's the same series and they're designed the same. So we're going to take a hint, Danny Brown. Next prompt is, or oh, we're getting near the, oh my God, the next, the next book is going to determine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Flip to a, no, this is determining it. Oh shit. Okay. Flip to a random page. Okay. Point out. <laughs> Point out a word and find that word and a book title on your TBR shelf. Okay, it's all come down to this. Jesus. Okie doke. And if we can't, if I don't, if I pick a word and we don't have a word with that on my TBR, we'll try again. Okay. Partner. I don't think I have a partner. We can check. We can use good old Goodreads. I don't think I have a book with partner. No, I don't have anything with partner. Let's try again. Let me Brushed. No, I don't have anything like that. Next one. Ruin. I've read Ruin and Rising, so thank God it can't be that. Anything else with Ruin? I'm not counting a sum of Storms and Silence because that's not in the title. Natives, race and class in the ruins of empire. Okay, no. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> I'm so mistrustful. Morning. I don't think I have anything with morning. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Squeeze. I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything with squeeze. Try again. Dolphin. <laughs> I don't have anything with dolphin. Best. Fuck. I feel like I'm going to have a best. I feel like there's going to be a best. And I don't think it's going to be a book I really want to read. Best. <gasps> It is a book I really want to read. <gasps> oh my gosh, where is it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. <laughs> we are going to be reading My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. You know 
what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. We have had a great like trend of books throughout this. A lot of the books I picked up were five stars and this is a five star prediction. <gasps> I am so excited. This is a horror where we're following these girlies and one of them gets <laughs> like possessed by a ghost and uh, she has to have an exorcism. This is a five star prediction. I recently read Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, which is a 4.5. I feel like this is gonna be a five. I love the vibes of it. I love the cover. I love the back. I just love it. I think it's gonna be a five star. <gasps> what a great pick. Oh my God. And perfect for this time of year. This is a perfect autumnal read. Okie dokie. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? Okay, I am gonna go get started on my best friend's exorcism. I'll check with you when I'm a little bit of the way through, but this is, this is a very exciting choice. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm 100 pages into My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I can't put it down. It's I'm obsessed. It's only taken me like an hour, maybe, to read those 100 pages. I cannot put it down. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so good. So all we need to know about this is we're following Abby and Gretchen who are besties. They've been besties since childhood. In fact, the first like 40 pages are really going through like their friendship together when they're younger. And now they're teens and they're like part of a girl group and they do acid one night. And they all think like the acid doesn't work. None of them really experience anything. But then Gretchen experiences like flashbacks and like visions. Uh, throughout the next couple of days. We're only where I'm at, we're like two days out from this happening and like weird stuff is happening to her. She's acting in a strange way. I'm not sure yet if like she is actually possessed by a ghost <laughs> or some dark entity or like devil or if she's just like a teenage girl. <laughs> But I'm loving it. The writing is just absolutely pulling me in. I was just on Patreon reading sprints as well. I'm at my desk. Hello, cats. There's some cats on my bed. Um, <laughs> I was on Patreon reading sprints and Jessie said that this is the most similar to a Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires from Grady Hendrix. Like if you like one, you'll like the other. And I absolutely agree. That was a 4.5 for me. I think this could be a five star. I'm just eating up. I, there's something already so compelling about these characters and particularly their relationship and their like sisterhood that I just can't, I can't put it down. <laughs> the writing is everything I love from Grady Hendrix. It's got that campness. It's got such a vivid picture of this time in history. You've already got really interesting interpersonal dynamics and, and character dynamics. We haven't even got into really any horror yet. We literally in the last two pages, there's maybe been like an inkling of horror slash devilry to it. Let's just say the devil made me do it. But that's the first moment we've had of it. The rest has really been about their friendship and relationship and it's just read so quickly and I'm really rooting for them. Like it says on the back, is their friendship power enough to beat the devil? God, I hope so. <laughs> because I'm just rooting for their relationship so much. You know, it's really, and I think that's really what the rest of the book is gonna be about. It's got you so attached to them as a friendship that you just like, I can't bear anything bad happening to them. I can't take it. I like refuse for that to happen. <laughs> Cause I just, yeah, I'm just really rooting for them. So I'm loving it. I don't have much to say to you because literally it's only just begun. I thought it kind of in those 40 pages, I mean, Grady Hendrix, um, definitely writes women, I think, better than Riley Sager. No, no, no shade. Um, no, no, no shade. Because no. it had so much about girlhood and like growing up and like weird dynamics that you have growing up and like those weird stages you go through as a young girl. It really like, it really got them. So I'm loving it. What if it's a five star, guys? What if it's a five star? I feel like all of a sudden, like I'm abundance with five stars. Like five stars just can't stop coming my way. And I'm gonna keep saying that because of law of attraction. And that means that it will happen. So <laughs> I'm gonna go carry on reading. I don't know if I'll check in with you again tonight, but I am absolutely loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I am now 220 pages in, I think. Yeah, so I'm nearing the end. I'm still obsessed. It's gonna be five stars. What the hell? <laughs> 
I just wasn't expecting that. What the actual hell is going on? My my fate has shifted. I always have the best reading in like November and December, I think. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is my kind of horror. Now, I don't want you guys going into this if you pick it up thinking it's all like loosey-goosey, you know, <laughs> we're having a great time. Like there's some scenes in this that are horrible, that are vile, that are like, you know, tr trigger warnings to this before going into it. Because th there was a scene with birds in particular that I all... Oh, I couldn't read it. Here's the thing, I actually prefer reading horror physically than audibly because when it's like a horrible scene, I can just like skim it. Like I can just read it really fast, get the general gist, but don't have to like sit there and hear it all, you know? But for me, Grady Hendrix is my kind of horror. Oh my God, Grady. Like, I, I am obsessed now. Grady Hendrix is my kind of horror and I'd love more recommendations if anyone has any recs for authors that are similar to Grady Hendrix in the horror. So I'm like, sorry, I just like you're crooked. Like the image doesn't look crooked, but you look crooked. My tripod's like... <laughs> Somebody do a death drop or something. He just perfectly blends horror and humor for me. It's funny, there's so much humor to it, but it is great horror as well. We've started implementing these like little mixed media elements that are a little bit weird and like tell a story. I don't wanna spoil anything because like, I'm quite deep in now, but tell a story without, you know, they show versus tell. No, tell, I don't know, whichever. Like, <laughs> I'm confused. It's showing you more of the characters and the story and the influence and what is happening without actually telling you, you know? It's like, I love when that happens. Like we've got like a little quiz, like a little um, excerpts of like a kid quiz. You know what I mean? Like in like one of your magazines when you're younger. I just am obsessed. I love it. And I think the setting is amazing. I think the pacing, I it's, it's taking me about, about an hour to read every 100 pages, which is pretty quick for me. Um, I just can't put it down. Grady Hendrix, wow. <laughs> I'm loving it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it. Um, I think it's going to amp up quite a bit in this last section, but I'm just really, 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 really excited. And you know what? This came out in 2014. I think it's aged really well. I could have seen this being published today. You know, some books you read, I mean, 2014 isn't that long ago. It's like, what, nine years ago. But you can read some books from 2014 and be like, wow, that's very 2014. Like that wouldn't have the success that it had today. It would, if it was published today, it wouldn't have the same success um, or it wouldn't even be published. You know, it's very, very different trends, but this still feels fresh and new and innovative. I'm just loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it and I will check with you once I have finished it. But wow, this scavenger hunt vlog, I'm definitely gonna have to do it again one day because this has gifted me a great read. Okay. Guys, five stars. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I loved it. I'm just so happy the amount of five stars I've been getting lately. Like it's been, if you saw my last vlog, we are drowning in five stars. And it shows you, it shows you the issue is not me. The problem has not been me in getting five stars. The problem has been the books I've been reading. This to me is just everything and more that I want from a horror. It is everything that I want. It it ticks all the boxes to me. You know, there's scenes in it that are like disgusting, but also kind of funny. <laughs> like there's a scene with a, mm, I'm just gonna say a worm. I don't wanna spoil anything, I'm gonna say a worm. <laughs> that is disgusting, but it's also kind of like comedic. It's blurring the lines between being like, not that I've seen any of these, but between being like a, a scream and a scary movie. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, not all the time. I'd say it is more serious than it is jokey, um, but it does have a humor to it. And I just, I absolutely loved it. It's by far my favorite Grady Hendrix that I've read so far. And this is just what I want from horror. And I, guys, I almost cried at the end. The ending got me emotional. There's the way it ends. <laughs> It's a little bit on the nose. It's a little bit like over the top to like make you hit you in the feels, but it got me. <laughs> and you know, this book is really a testament to female friendship. And you know, Greta Hendrix, you can, I will, I'll give you a whole pass. On <laughs> You're not Riley Sager. Riley Sager, the way Riley Sager gets from men. Riley, I'm very excited for his first ever male protagonist because we need, we need him to go down that avenue. But yeah, I I loved this. I loved the relationship in this and it got me emotional. The ending really got me emotional and I feel like the ending was the perfect ending for everything that this book was and more. You know, it really culminated in the perfect way and in the way that this book deserved. So I absolutely adored it, guys. I loved it so much. I cannot recommend this enough. And what a, what a great pick from the scavenger hunt. I mean, listen, <laughs> it could have picked 
200 books on my TBR and it picked a five star and one that I've been very excited to read at that and one that is perfect for this time of year. So I cannot recommend it enough. Go pick this up guys. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to the end of the video, comment an owl emoji. If you know, you know. Um, let me know what you thought of this. If you read it, do you agree with me? Did you love it as well? Did you not like it? Let me know all your thoughts down below and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!